In this video I'm going to explain some special bar and column charts to you and show you how you can create them. Bar and column charts basically work the same way as other charts and you have the similar ways of adjusting them. You can find information on those topics in the separate videos that we already created. But there are some possibilities of how you can create special bar and column charts that exactly display what you want to visualize. In this video, we are going to take a look on butterfly charts and mixed charts. The first special column chart that I want to show you is a mixed chart, which means that the chart contains lines and columns. A typical usage example would be the display of sales volumes as columns and share prices as a line in the same chart. To create such a chart, I can either use a line chart or a column chart as a starting point. In this example, I'll work with a stacked column chart to start with. First of all, I link an Excel range to this chart. Note that we created a whole video on how you can create and manage Excel links if you'd like to get further information on this topic. So I'm selecting the range that I want to use. Press link to existing PowerPoint object and create a link to this chart. In this example, you can see the sales volumes for different products and the share prices. Right now they are all displayed as columns. Apparently the value of the share prices operates in another dimension as the values of the sales volumes. This is why I'm not only going to set the series that represents the share prices to a line, which I can do right here in the series menu, but also define that the series should use a secondary value axis. Thus I can use a whole other scaling for this series that you can see right here. Moreover, I want to display the share prices above the columns so that they're easier to perceive. I can reach this effect by simply pushing my columns down a little bit. By clicking on the value axis that corresponds to the columns, I can adjust the maximum of this axis by clicking right here. I could, for example, set this maximum a bit higher, maybe to 2500, and thereby create some space for the line in my chart. Now you see that we created a beautiful mixed chart where we can very easily see the share price and the sales volumes of the different products. Additionally, it can be helpful to know that while working with two axes, you can insert breaks for each axis separately. And you can adjust the data labels for each axis separately too. In the series menu, I can define which series should use which axis. And if I want to switch the position of the axis, I can do this by simply clicking right here. So now you see we swap the axis and now the axis that corresponds to the share prices is located right here. The next kind of special bar chart that I want to present to you is the so-called butterfly chart. Right here you can see a butterfly chart that represents the age distribution of men and women in Germany. Now I'm going to show you how you can turn a basic stacked bar chart that you can find right here into a butterfly chart. First of all, I created an Excel file right here with all the data that I need for this chart. So I'm selecting the range that I want to use and link it to the chart that is already existing in PowerPoint. In this case, my series are arranged in columns and not in rows, so I switch this default setting via the button edit settings. 
present OK. And now you see already some kind of butterfly chart. In order to create that special look of a butterfly chart, the data points that show in this case all the values for men have to be negative. So you see all those values are negative so that they are displayed on the other side of the axis. However, in my chart, I want to display them as absolute values, which I can do in the data labels menu by choosing a custom label and selecting the option use absolute values right here. Now I click on OK and as you can see all my values are now absolute. Furthermore I'll switch off the option show column sums in the data labels menu because I don't need them. Other ways of fine-tuning and improving the look of my chart would be to firstly reduce the font size in the properties menu so that the labels fit better on my bars. Secondly, I could switch off the option automatic background for my data labels. Lastly, I can move these two labels a bit so that they're easier to see. Moreover, I can switch off the option Show Connect. And now you see that we created a beautiful butterfly chart that looks quite similar to the one that I already prepared on this slide. So I hope this video gave you a quick insight on the possibilities of how you can create some special bar and column charts and how you can adjust and fine tune your charts. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.